Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with the love of my life. How are you doing? I'm good. It's not too hot today. It's it truly really nice. is not. We are supposed to be getting some rain, like over half of Florida is like flooding right now. And we've been waiting for these like rain clouds to open up, but we are literally getting nothing. There was a yeah. drought going on. Yeah, it's kind of like Laura Lee with the apology video. Can't um, even squeeze one little teardrop um, out, one little raindrop. It hurts me so bad. <laughs> to disappoint you all who have supported me for so many years. So the first person that I want to talk about is none other than once again, Gypsy Rose. Well, she is having a little bit of drama over on TikTok. She actually had to leave TikTok earlier this year. Like her PO allegedly asked her to like stop posting on it. And that was allegedly because of another influencer over there named Nina, the beauty influencer. And she makes like nonstop content about Gypsy Rose. Yeah. And she's always calling Gypsy out on her bullshit. Well, Nina uploaded a video the other day. And Ken and Gypsy. Wow, you let your man on the internet talking big smack about me. And Kate, let me just check your man real quick. And you should be very embarrassed about this. So your man was on Natasha's live, correct? Did she, did he not say this? He said what he does for work. He works at a bar. He invited Nina to come for a drink. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Nina, I will, I will. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He, he broke up with his girlfriend. It's a mutual separation, but yes. At this time, they were claiming they weren't in a relationship. Ken was all in my comments on my lives. Nina, I love you. Blah, blah, blah. I love your content. Da, 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 talking like big stuff, right? When I stated that I would never go to a bar that he was working at, just because, I mean, I feel like it's not appropriate. Um, and I just wouldn't entertain that because um, I'm a grown woman. Like, this is the internet, right? I guess his little ego got hurt and he flipped the switch, right? And blocked me. <laughs> so, Gypsy, really, your man wanted me. <laughs> and everybody kept saying it. And I was like, no, nah, it ain't like that. I'm who your girl wants to be, baby. <laughs> okay. So, that's the real tea. That's the real tea. So, stop playing on these TikTok streets because you don't want me to spill the beans. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. I'm waiting on it. You ready to play? Let's play. I'm ready. When are you ready? Gypsy, cause your man wanted me real bad. Gypsy, you should be embarrassed. But I don't want the DD special. I'm good on that love. I didn't know that was who this was. It was, about. it was. Well, I didn't know that either until I like started scrolling and so many people were like tagging her in the comment section. Gypsy responded to her and it was the most it was extremely cringe, like at least for me to like bad. watch what she had to say. It was and funny. she was basically letting Nina know that her man would not touch her with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> she wouldn't. And people are trolling Gypsy back and they're actually like putting up a picture of like, this is the man in question. Oh honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. So, looks like you're the one that's panini pressed. Call a spade a spade, honey. Keep making content. Gypsy, there is, if there is she one thing, no, if there is one thing that Gypsy Rose is gonna do, it is hold her man down. Because let's yeah. not forget when Ryan was getting a lot of like hate online, she went out there and she said that the D is fire yeah. and gave him like that sound bite to use for all the future women that come yeah. into his life. Okay, Ryan. And now we have Panini Press. People yeah. are turning that into a thing. I've seen panini Trisha Paytas press. tweeting about it. There's a mm. bunch of people tweeting about it. It was funny, I'll give her it that. Was. It was very cringe, but it yeah. was funny. This girl, I actually mm -hmm. ended up blocking before my other TikTok account got taken down because every video, Nina, every, the beauty influencer. every single video. Oh no, she is on her ass. She is not like letting up on Gypsy Rose. And Gypsy Rose has like messaged her before and has tried to be like, hey, let's like have a, like a truce, blah, blah, blah. She's like, you bitch. She's not interested. Ain't time for that. No, Girl, certainly not. The next thing that I want to talk about is we have like, every time that we talk about Jeffree Star receiving like gifts over on TikTok whenever he's live, 
five, <laughs> we always ask the question of like, why are people doing it? Because Jeffree Star obviously has a shit ton of money or so he would have people believe. No, he does. So he's on TikTok all day long like Jason Nash, not begging as much as Jason Nash because Jeffree just like gets overly excited and does the influencer gasp every time <gasps> someone sends him a big gift. Not for the roses though. Let's not forget Gypsy Rose as well as Jeffree said that the roses are That's the cheapest cheap. thing that you can send. They're Don't be cheap. Well, it seems that we have gotten our answer. Maybe my phone was listening to me because I came across a video of someone screen recording this like really expensive gift that they sent to Jeffree Star. Yeah. It was like, you had to pay like almost $600 just to get the tokens to be able to purchase this gift. And it was like this description of Jeffree Star, like, you know, I grew up with you and you just changed my life so much. You made me want to be myself. You made me love who I am. Oh, Nick! Nick with the mother Zeus! Oh my god! He said, don't play with it! He said, let's go, y'all. MVP to motherfucking Nick in the building! Thank you, baby. Coley with the sweet messages. Right. Nick really said, hi, how are you? Thank you, baby. Thanks. Oh, you're a daily 21 all of a sudden. Oh my God, what is happening? Gosh. Y'all, what? What? So people are like paying Jeffree Star back for, I guess, allowing them to discover themselves. He and don't they're need putting your money, money in his pocket because of it. Girl, you could have posted a little yeah. tweet, tagged him in it for free. But I'm still going to stick with the fact that it's more so about the recognition of just hearing Jeffree Star oh, say yeah. their name. Girl, he said so many people's names. You could probably put it into Google or something and just like find a clip of him saying it. Yeah. And just make a sure. clip and pretend it's about you. Yeah. When he said Nick, I was like, what'd yeah. you do? Nothing. <laughs> That's like when Cole Cardigan, remember when he was thanking someone on his live stream and we were like talking about him all the time and he was like, Nick, thank you you so much people thought it was me yeah. Bro, i did not send him nothing <laughs> no this video is just going to be like really petty with the things that i actually like pulled to talk about mm. michaela Nagara is on a birthday trip with a few of her girlfriends right now over in spain she's in barcelona i believe oh how nice and it looks like it's gorgeous it's been raining a lot while they've been there they went to sephora but she also there was a surprise guest on this trip that nobody knew was going to be there and she actually like surprised her friends with them as well alex earl oh, was wow. on the trip now you have not seen the clip because i haven't mm -hmm. played it for you but i was watching and I was like, oh my God, I was like so shocked that Alex actually shut up for this. Yeah, that's weird. Michaela's room had cockroaches in it. I've just determined that I'm gonna have bad luck this whole trip. There is a huge cockroach in my room and I am so afraid. Do well with bugs, okay? So I called someone, oh my God, I can't even look at it. Yeah, so it's in the closet and um, why is it so big? Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night anymore. I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm, all I'm gonna be able to think about is that there's more in here somewhere. Like, I'm gonna go stir crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm, I know I'm being dramatic, okay? But bugs really are not my thing. I called someone, they're on the way. I literally, I have to get dressed. I can't put, I'm not going in that closet until that bug is gone. Hi, how are you? Very good. There is a cockroach in my closet. And then he lost it. I really thought it couldn't get any worse. This was honestly so funny. <laughs> he lost the cockroach. He had to call in another guy and they basically started to take the closet apart. Like literally removing all the drawers <laughs> and trying to find this freaking cockroach. They couldn't find it anywhere. But then they saw it and they were determined to get it. They were determined to get oh, this cockroach. And there he is. I named him Larry. Casa, Casa de la Roach. Casa de la Roach. Casa de la Roach. Imagine going to like a function Girl. with other beauty YouTubers and a roach coming out a of your roach. bag. No, well, it's in her bedroom. It's like in the actual hotel room. That's no, it was I'm... actually, it was Alex Earl's present to her for her birthday. Like Casa, <laughs> Casa de la Roach, it's not surviving up in like the high rise like Alex lives in now. So they had to send it with Michaela. Mm -hmm. Like it would do better over there. Maybe Michaela's you know? going to foster one of her roaches. Maybe. No, that's like so <laughs> disgusting though, because she's not even going to know. She's going to have an internet 
international roach go home with her. Yeah, girl. Like, that thing will get all of it in her clothes, in her suitcase, and she will just have it crawling around her house. Mm hmm She never know. It's like a super roach. They'll never know. Gross. Imagine being on an airplane, and all of a sudden, like, a roach just, like, crawls across you. Girl, that's gross, but you know what's worse than that? What? I'd rather a roach crawl across me. Somebody farting when you're in the plane oh, on that recycled air. That's worse to me. Yeah. And the last thing that I want to talk about is James Charles, because he uploaded a clip. You know how people like to share, like, their messages from Grindr if they had someone say, like, <laughs> something weird to them? Mm -hmm. Well, James Charles made a video, and he said that he is normally very against that because he's had it happen to him several times. I mean, the things that have happened to James Charles, though, were not always on Grindr, you guys. Those were, like, some Instagram DMs, Snapchat. things like that, with some people that were <laughs> underage, let's not forget, when he was desperate. And I finally, finally came to a conclusion. It sucks, and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to, and that is that I'm desperate. But he is on Grindr, so you know you're supposed to be 18 and up to go on that. Now, Grindr has had a very high, I'm not saying this is what he's doing, I'm not, but they do have a very high case of people that are not 18 years old lying about their age and I'm going sure. on that app. And I'm just saying the same way that James Charles changes his gender over there on Tinder, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a filter that's like 18, just that, nothing else. No, you know how you can select like, if you like somebody hairy or whatever, mm. I wonder if his says like no hair. Well, <laughs> James Charles showed a message from this guy that he apparently has like hooked up before. I guess the guy's gonna be in town in LA and James asked if he like wanted to hang out. The guy told him that he could be persuaded. And James, I'm sure the man was like fishing for like money. maybe like a photo or maybe like fishing for money, fishing for something else. And James was like, what the f like, what does that even mean? Mm -hmm. Like, do you want to hang out or not? The guy told him that right now he is currently into guys that are more femme. And James was a little taken aback because he's like, who the f is more femme than me? James changes his gender over on Tinder. Yeah. So who the hell is more fuck? He could put a wig on. I am very much against people posting a private conversation from dating apps online it is a violation of privacy i think you're a f loser if you do that it's happened to me so many times that i would never wish it upon anybody however the message that i just received is too crazy not to share this is a man that i've hooked up with once before had a great time he's back in town in la i said want to hang out he said i could be convinced i said bro what the fuck i'm not playing games with you sir get you either want to hang out or you don't i'm not gonna sit here and beg for you look what his response said I'm just more into very femme guys right now. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, is this my ma Did you just call me a man? Like, am I, am I in my mask era? So I guess that we have to applaud James just a little bit because he is trying his best mm -hmm. to find people that are like He's his looking nature for above. love in all the wrong places, yeah, well, no. girl. Well, no, but at least this is not Instagram yeah. that is being released, okay? This is not him having an inappropriate conversation with someone who is not 18 years old. At least he's not playing Roblox. No. <laughs> Again. No, what the f*** is with Roblox? There are so know. many adults that are playing it. It was my impression that this was like a children's game. I thought but it was But apparently sweet. like a lot of messed up stuff goes on over on Roblox and then mm -hmm. Let's not forget that Manny Emmy Way was gonna have like a meet and greet on there. Yeah, like, so girl, weird. James Charles is a special guest. Like, <laughs> wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. so with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. We hope that you did enjoy it. Please leave us a rain cloud. Is there a rain cloud emoji? A lightning a, bolt. Yeah. Something that has to do with weather. Leave us one of those emojis down below. I feel like it might actually. I rain really though. hope that it. It does. feels like that it might. Cloud. That's a large cloud. It feels really nice yeah. out here. Just give us some rain, yeah. Mother Nature. And we will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye.